What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my new better setup. <laughs> if you've been a part of my channel for a while you'll know that this guy used to be uh, the table that I actually did all the reviews on and I recently got another table and did some organizing so now I've got um, a better setup so I'm going to be walking you guys through that. If you are new to my channel I like to do knife overviews, knife reviews, unboxings, discussion videos and I have a knife guy series on Sundays. I like to upload every single day so if you're a knife person of any type and you like regular content this might be the channel for you so go ahead and uh, subscribe and turn notifications on blah 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 blah. Um, anyways um, you guys probably, you know, saw some of my old tour videos where um, I, I showed uh, this guy here that has all of my knives and a bunch of stuff in it. And then I showed the table and the light that I used and all that stuff. So I had been, uh, you know, and I had kind of told my, uh, my patrons this. I was like, I need to get a table and I need to get some better lighting and I need to get stuff, you know, organized. Um, I'd always wanted to clear out a space in my house in this area that I, I refer to as the dungeon. <laughs> it's essentially just an extended part of the storage room. And I'd had this space here, but I just had never really gotten around to utilizing it. And I wanted everything all in one spot because there are so many times when I'm doing a review where I'm like, oh, do I have this knife here? Do I have this thing here? And I just didn't have it with me and it was frustrating. Um, so I, you know, it was always in a different area of the house. And so now that everything's all in one place, that shouldn't happen anymore. And we're going to go over this, you know, um, but uh, this just uh, this just worked out really well. Now, obviously, there's going to be more upgrades, and this is a little bit haphazard. You can see I've got some cables and things um, out everywhere. The light is, this is the only light that I've ever really used, um, but uh, there's some, soon there's going to be some more professional lighting coming, but um, this is all going to change a little bit. I just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of behind the scenes what this is going to look like from now on. And for anybody who lends me knives, I wanted to give you a look at kind of where they sit and what I do with them just so you know um, that they're safe. This is not a room that's, um, well, it's not accessible to anybody except for myself and my wife in my house. So, but uh, anyway, so I guess we'll start over here on the very left side. Um, we have the box that contains the top shelf is my EDC rotation. I'm not going to go through this because I have an episode. If you want to watch the episode where I go through this box and talk about every single one of my knives, you can go watch it. There's some different stuff in here than what was on that video, but I mean, all of it's going to get reviewed soon. So actually, these two, now that I think about it, this guy and this guy need to be out here because they are going to be reviewed soon. I'll kind of explain what that area is right there. Um, but yeah, if you want to, if you want me to kind of go through that, this is also, this one needs to go over here. Um, if you want to, um, you know, see that and have me go through that, then you can certainly watch that video. Um, just, it's, it's just a ways back in my, my uploads. Um, some stuff that I use, you know, all the time or, well, actually I haven't used this yet. This is the digital angle square that I'll need to use a little bit more, get familiar with when I learn how to sharpen. Paper towels because you need paper towels in every room of your house. There's some masking tape just for little things, a magnifying glass that I use actually all the time. Uh, there's some break free CLP here just for oiling. Um, I've got just a regular, just a notepad that I use to write some stuff down. Of course, my scale. The only thing that's not up here is my freaking tape measure. And <laughs> you guys are going to laugh about this. My, um, my, I cannot find my tape measure. I, I lost it in this, uh, in this move, in this transition. So I might actually have to upgrade my crusty old tape, as you guys um, like to put it. My, uh, my scale here with my old channel logo on it, I think I might just keep that for nostalgic reasons. Um, I kind of like that. So um, this is everything that needs to be reviewed on this channel. Everything that I have currently that I am about to review. And for those of you who have contacted me on Instagram saying, hey, I've got something you want, uh, that I want you to review. I love, that's great. But you can see kind of how backed up I am. Um, this is probably about, uh, it's probably about two to three weeks worth of content. So I kind of need to get through this because some of this stuff is staying on the channel. Some of it was donated and some of it has to go back to the people um, that have generously donated it. So if, uh, if you have donated something um, for me to, and I have not reviewed it yet, it's here. Uh, also, if you have lent me something for review um, and uh, you know are, are waiting for me to review it and send it back, this is where it sits. Um, the Hinderer Ranch Bowie is right here for the gentleman who let me borrow that. Really excited about that one. Um, if you're wondering what this stuff is underneath, they're like mouse pads. One was sent by USA Made Blade with a, uh, 
with a knife that I, I got from them. And then this one was a DLT um, a mouse pad that was sent. And actually, I kind of like that one. This is my disassembly mat. You can see there, standoff, scale screws, nuts, things like that uh, for when I'm taking apart my hinders, which are the two safe cleans are right there and right there. We will get to that XM. That's, that's another knife that actually would be out here for review, but I kind of leave that one in there just because. Um, but anyways, um, they stay right here just so they've got a nice soft surface. If they came with a case, they remain in that case, so they remain safe. Some of Jeff's knives that he's going to um, have sent back are in their cases, just so I don't get them scratched up or anything. Harry, Some of Harry's knives that he sent and donated that didn't come with cases, so they stayed, or the Lion Steel. Um, uh, it came with a case, so it's you know obviously going to stay in, in its case. But some of those are going to be giveaway knives, and then uh, some other of Harry's uh, some some of Harry's other knives that he sent the Niala. Um, I this is another one of Jeff's, I think, and this is the Boost um, the is it Boost Blade Smoke, the Blade HQ exclusive in carbon fiber. I keep that one in the box. Um, Basically, the reason I'm going over this is so that people know if they lend me knives in the future, I always keep your packaging with the knife. I've got so much here. It has to stay organized so that I know exactly where everything is, whether or not it's been reviewed, and obviously, I don't want to damage it, so it stays nice and safe right here. Moving over, envelopes for people that I send stickers to, which right now the stickers are kind of in the back of that drawer, um, but uh, people who join my... By the way, plug my Instagram. Um, if you want a sticker, you can get one for free by joining the $3 tier or higher in my Instagram, or you can buy them for $5 a piece. Actually, no, they're $3 a piece individually. If you want to buy multiple, um, I, um, you can just kind of let me know how many you want and I can, I can make a deal. But um, essentially, I keep the letters right here so that I can send out the stickers to people who want them. Uh, this is the review board. I'm sure you're wondering like, hey, didn't you give that Southern Grind Spider Monkey away and you already announced the winner? I did. <laughs> Matthew said, has it was who's the gentleman who won that, has actually yet to claim it. I have um, contacted him. If you go back and find his comment on the video, I've commented on it, or at least my comment should be there. I'm like, hey, I haven't heard from you. I need you to send me. So normally I give people 48 hours, but, but every other giveaway that I've ever done, um, the person has claimed it like immediately, right? He hasn't claimed it yet. So I'm going to wait till the end of the week. You guys know that this knife was currently offered up as a giveaway. If you're wondering like, hey, when was that video? The video that I did where I said, meet my dogs, it would have been yesterday, so on Sunday, uh, the 31st of August, was it the 31st of August or September 1st? I don't know. If you wanna enter for that one, we're gonna do the drawing for this guy this coming Saturday. Um, you can go back and leave your comment on that video. So I've got that and this. Um, and if by Saturday, Mr. Matthew said has not claimed this USA made blade exclusive Southern grind spider monkey in red G10, then I will pick a new winner for that and a winner for this guy. And we'll do two knife giveaways. This one in the middle here is of course the ProTech Master Up Mordax. And this knife is set to be given away the moment that I hit 60 patrons. So whether you've been viewing this channel for a long time or you're a new subscriber, if you'd like to support me and help me reach that goal, just follow the link in the description to my Patreon, have a look around, and you can join whatever tier you would like. Um, that's always greatly appreciated. That money goes right back into the channel, helps me pay for things like quality of life improvements, like this, you know, the, the thing like the table and the new lighting, and of course, shipping costs that are associated with sending um, the knives that uh, people generously either... Um, you know, well, that, that either lend me or sent by the manufacturer. Um, that money helps, um, you know, pay for shipping costs to get those knives back. Anyways, moving on here, you can see here that I have taped my mat down. I love this mat, this cheap little mat that I got from eBay. And what I did is I just pulled the tape up off of this guy right here and then tried to reapply it to the top of this. Well, number one, I didn't get it far enough forward. You can see there, we got to get this all the way on there and I don't want to fall off in the middle of a review but there's also not a whole lot of room for this guy right here which is why we're we're going to redo the lighting system the reflectivity that we get off of this off these uh, off these stone blocks is just not going to work for the lighting you know if you can imagine here here would be my review setting the lighting's not very good right there so we're going to do some different lighting but anyways when I put it down it kind of bubbled up so I tried to smooth it out and then the tape started peeling up so at the moment I've got masking tape holding everything down that's not going to stay like that this is all gonna get pulled up. This is gonna get moved forward so that it all makes sense. I'll get it exactly the way that I want it. And then this guy, this $12 thing, is gonna be replaced soon with a better 
thing. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I can find an arm that actually clamps to the table or better yet, something that clamps to this or something that I can make where it just hangs over the top kind of up here so that I can do my reviews like that. And that way, if I bump the table, it doesn't shake it all over the place. I would really like that. Um, but yeah, this table is great. It's just one of those um, folding tables that you can get at like Home Depot or whatever, but it's perfect for this. Um, inexpensive and it just kind of keeps everything sturdy. I don't have to worry about anything falling down. What's that box under there? This box, well, what's on top of it actually? Um, those are all like uh, priority boxes for when I ship knives back to people. This box is are all the boxes and packages that um, have come with knives that, that are mine. So all my original boxes. So when I sell knives, I always keep the original boxes and the original packaging. This bag is all the promo and sticker stuff that I've received from other uh, makers. I think I talked about that. I want to do something with that at some point. Maybe make like a sticker board. I'm not really sure, but I keep it all. I keep all of that stuff. I never get rid of the, um, the uh, uh, packaging or anything like that. Um, anyways, moving on here. This table here is what I used to do the reviews on. And this is the old background, this doormat. Um, all of these knives are knives that are ready to go back um, to their owner that I have already done reviews on. Uh, the Moras, I've got that um, that large fixed blade. That, that review's coming. It's still being pieced together. Um, the one that's uh, the Chris Reeve, and I, I can't remember the other maker on that because I did it such a, a while ago. But anyways, one of Jeff's, um, one of Harry's, another one of Harry's, and then I think this is just a... Um, sleeve that needs to go back to Jeff. These knives here are the boxes. You can see there's the box for the Protec uh, Mordax and the box for the Southern Grind Spider Monkey and the box for the Knucklehead. Another knife I'm going to be giving away. Another knife I'm going to be giving away. And then, you know, all that stuff. There's a bunch of knives over there that are going to be given away. But these are all going to be giveaway knives. Um, this container right here is the KME sharpening system. There's the base. Um, I keep my iPad right there so that, you know, if I need quick access to the internet, it's nice to have that there. And I also use the iPad in episodes. Um, I've got a, uh, an outlet that I got just kind of built into my um, electrical box there just so that I can keep things plugged in and running. And don't, don't worry, the electrical's done correctly. <laughs> I'm not gonna set anything on fire. Um, but uh, yeah, this is kind of um, how I've got things set up now. And um, over time, you know, things will get organized better and better and better but I finally have a good system you know worked out where I, I feel good about everything and how it's set up and it's just the way that I had it it was it was organized and I felt good but when I have other people's stuff I just really want everything to be in exactly the right order I want to know exactly I, it's it's nice to have like here's the stuff I'm going to review it comes to here and then it comes over here and it's ready to be shipped back out and I've got the boxes and everything that I can use um, to do that. I just need to get a printer down here so I can print labels and things. But yeah, um, it's it's good. I need to get some more um, shelving and uh, some, you know, I don't know, just it'd be nice to have some drawers, even just some plastic containers with drawers and things. Um, but yeah, so um, this is the way that it is right now. Um, and then it'll get uh, kind of evolved and I'll probably do another video at some point kind of showing everybody how I'm doing this. If you have any suggestions for me, I'm happy to hear them, definitely. Um, if you uh, know of, of, of a good, um, <laughs> a better tripod than this that's a reasonable amount of money, I, I'm not really, I'm not interested in spending like a hundred bucks on a tripod, but if there's something better, something that I can fix to the wall or clamp to the table or something that kind of, not really clamp to the table, something I can fix, you know, to something else outside of it being part of the table, that would be excellent. But anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Just kind of wanted to walk around and show you guys that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check that stuff out. And if you enjoy all my content, then please subscribe to my channel because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And have a great day.